can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. So Star Wars is about light versus dark, good triumphing over evil. But in Andor, those lines are blurry. Where does your character stand? Do they see themselves as heroic? I don't think he believes he could be a hero and definitely not what we when we find him, you know? I think he doesn't know what he's capable of. I'm tired of losing. He gets to a point where he's willing to sacrifice everything for a cause. And, and to me, that journey is what, what's very interesting, you know? There's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? Mon Mothma is a senator within the Imperial Senate. We know that she believes in diplomacy. We know that she has noble intentions. Where we meet her in Andor, we see a woman trying to effect change, but perhaps the way that she has to effect change is to step outside that the constructs of empire and to step into something a bit shadier, a bit murkier. People are standing up. Bix is the owner of a sow yard and is really practical and isn't afraid of getting her hands dirty. And she sort of feels like a hero within her own world. She tries to do the best for the people that she cares for all around. And I think that is heroic within itself. Are you a fish? Are you a thief? Yeah, I mean, I think she sees herself as having the capability of being the hero of the ISB. I think she's like a woman in this man's world and she sees this kind of ineptitude and people missing really big clues that were in danger. So to her, by proving what her hunch is, that means she will save the Empire. Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? Every character is in the middle of their own personal rebellion in Tony Gilroy's world. It's what makes it so interesting, and he's such a talented writer because he takes care of every single character. How deep did creator Tony Gilroy go with you on this Imperial pecking order? For example, Kyle, can a stormtrooper bully Cyril? Take over. <laughs> there exists actually within the what he liked to call the Vatican, you know? Yeah. There exists a, a deep knowledge of what is allowed and what isn't. Mm -hmm. you, know, you couldn't unbutton the button. I couldn't button. unbutton my top of my uniform because nobody has ever done that in the history of Star Wars. But in terms of an actual stormtrooper Cyril relationship, I mean, I don't actually know the answer to that. Yeah, you know? because there is apparently, there's, a, there's like a room full of people who know all these answers. Like that opening of the, the top button, you know, I thought, it's so simple, I'm just gonna open it. And then I was told, no, wait a second, we just need to call the room. Mon Mothma all the way through, even from Return of the Jedi to me playing her in Rogue One, she wears this chain of office. I wanted to remove the chain of office as I came into the residence. And I remember having uh, that having to go up the chain, of course, because <laughs> that is part of her identity, right? That's what a reckoning sounds like. Denise and Genevieve, they both wanted to explore something with their character that elicited a call to the, what Tony Gilroy calls the Vatican. Was there anything with Cassian that you wanted to explore that elicited one of those calls? Not really, not really, no. Because of Rogue One, I understood perfectly where is Cassian coming from, what I was capable of exploring here. I felt pretty much completely free to explore, you know? Was there anything you wanted to explore with Vix that elicited such a call? Oh, yeah, there was. Ah. There was one. There was one. And I can't tell you what it was. Ah. I can't. It, I really, really, really can't. But there was, there was one. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> so hard.